good morning welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Tina and today I am headed to Scotch Plains New Jersey uh, they are having a townwide sale about 70 participants I have never been here and I don't think they've had it in a couple years due to COVID uh, so hopefully they've got a lot of stuff stored up because I am ready to buy so let's go see what we can find here. All right, so we have some vendors set up at this church. Go check this out. Check out the prices on this DVD or Blu-ray. It's pretty wild. Okay, even this pre-owned film seems to be pretty good. This is good. This is a good movie. These are three for a dollar, so I'm just gonna get the three of these. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Is this your stuff here? Uh, it's all of ours. Oh, you're all yeah, together. All, everything's okay. Everything's all together. So it's all kind of like in a bundle kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of it. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So these are all themed, themed boxes. Two dollars for the entire box. I think I'll give that a whirl. Tree oh, oh, themed. That's interesting. As Emil says to us, he says, I know you're Jewish. I wish our parishioners were as supportive of our church as you are. I said, it happens everywhere. I Is said, there anything the special thing. you're looking for? Because I <laughs> kind of look in. Okay. You didn't answer my question. Mm. This is interesting. It's got some chips in it. Mm. If you see anything that doesn't look like it has a price on it, Oh, there was one uh, I don't think I want though. those. I don't think I want those dishes. 
They look like they've got some wear. These are old Starbucks. Two dollars for the entire box. I don't want the whole box. I just want these Starbucks mugs. All right, can I pay you? Okay, the mugs. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's a checkout right over there, straight down. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want the whole box. You don't want the whole box? I don't want the then whole just box. just take a dollar for what you want. Okay, and then these are three for a dollar. Okay. So, so you're at four. Because this would have been a whole box, so three. Oh, a one, I'm two? Sorry. This was how many three for a dollar? Mm -hmm. And two. You're two, you're good. Oh, okay. Do you want a little bag? I have the bag. Okay, sure, thanks. Oh, Pat, you need a bag? She does. Oh, I heard you say bag. It was blowing away. Thank you. Sure, sure. Do you want something more to protect the mugs? I think they'll be all right. Okay, great. Nice thing. It's a lovely collection from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, we don't even know oh, get to see this stuff. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for stopping Thank by. you. You too. In and out. So I definitely got at least one Blu-ray score. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Just like sunk into this grass. Holy moly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I didn't realize I'm, you know, I like literally brought out like my basket again. I'm like, feel free. My kids don't want to clean them anymore, really, so. I love it. Anyway, but thank you for setting it up. Okay, I, think, I think it's, it's going pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> it was exhausting, let me tell you. Oh, I bet, I bet. Yeah, I got to run back to <laughs> this is cute. I know I haven't put prices on anything. Like that. Like How much is the bag? Five bucks for the bag. Five bucks? I'll yep. take it. All right. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. It's a cute one. <laughs> right? You know, it's got the wine thing. Like you yeah. Can, you, know, you can drink wine on the beach. Or... How much is this cookie jar? Um, also five bucks. All right. I'll take that too. Okay. Love to okay, right. so good? the cookie jar, I'm mm -hmm. not sure where that went. I just put it down over here. For oh, you. did you? Okay. Oh, okay. And this, and then these two items. All right. So, um, this is five bucks, and this is a buck. Okay. Oh, my goodness. How much is the Pyrex? 20 a piece? That's unfortunate. That's why it's all still here.
this one looks like a big one. the glasses are? Two dollars a box? There's two boxes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take those. And how about the... Two dollars each? Okay. So eight. I'm going to keep looking. Do you want me to hold on to this? Yes, if you could, please. <laughs> if you have a bag, that would be great. Thank you. I have like a pile down there. Oh, so, oh, you have it? Okay, so I have this stuff too. Okay, I want to get those plates too. Here, okay. 
that. match to okay. the other ones. Oh yes. I'm gonna keep looking around. And is it already five for this? All right, what do I owe you for everything? Okay, so we've got eight for here. Fifteen for all? Fifteen, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Look at this real quick. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to. Okay. If you want to grab the box. Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. Is it? Huh? Yep, I see the booklet. My son was very particular. Yeah. How much is it? How much is the vase? That's $20. Yeah. Did you do 15? Okay. I'll take that and I'm going to keep looking. How much is the shamrock?
Hey, Bern, you want to hold these down? Okay. okay. Do you want to keep your container? No, I told I was going to take it. Okay. I don't think I have to lose. How much are the, the cups? Oh, three. Three? Okay. A little coffee, little coffee pot. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Alright. And that do you have like a little piece of paper to wrap that? It is, yeah. My father brought it from my parents' house. Oh, okay. Let me it. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see. What are these cards? Playing cards. Ooh. How much are the cards? Those are kind of cool. All right, I'm going to take those two. So I think I'm at 24. 15, 3, 3, 3. 24. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. Okay. Thank you. Have yourself a wonderful day. <laughs> it's a nice weather. Yes, we're supposed to get bad storms like tonight. Oh, really? Oh, geez. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, puppy. What are you doing here? Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, boy. These are cute. Come on, <laughs> Alrighty guys, now let's get into the haul. I'll try to go as fast as I can so this video doesn't end up being too long. It feels like forever since I've filmed a haul video. Um, it, it's been a while because <laughs> we are into October now. The last stuff I filmed was like in September and I haven't even put that out yet. So yeah, just been crazy busy trying to, you know, get a head start for Q4 and get lots of stuff listed and everything else. So anyway, let's get into this haul. Okay, so one stop was in a church parking lot. They had great, great prices. I think it was a church. I don't even know. I just, I saw the tables. That's all I saw. I pulled in. Um, so I got three DVDs for a dollar. Um, this one actually is a Blu-ray and this is sealed. This one should sell for like $70, which is pretty darn awesome. So it's called Ms. 45. So apparently it's like a cult classic. I have never heard of this. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I guess it came out in 1980. So... I was just a baby, so that's like that's why I didn't hear of it, I guess. Um, anyway, then uh, the act of killing and hunger. These will probably go for like I don't know. This one probably like fourteen ninety nine free shipping. This one probably twelve ninety nine free shipping. So not too shabby for a dollar investment, right? Uh, then I got some Starbucks mugs there. These are all older. I think like two thousand six, two thousand seven. Um, Toronto 
This one I've never seen, Fairmount Park, Philadelphia. Um, I didn't look these up. This one, 1998. Like, this almost doesn't even look like a real Starbucks mug, right? This is Washington, D.C. Um, so, I don't know. It's got something in it about it. 50 cents of the proceeds go to Martha's Table to... Um, basically help disadvantage children or whatever. So I don't know, did Starbucks do that back in the day? I have no idea. And then this one is Cleveland. So we'll see. I know some Starbucks mugs are fakes, I guess you want to call them, which is weird. Like, why would you do that for a coffee mug? But I don't know. These seem legit. They still have like the store tags on the bottom and everything. They were four for a dollar. They were trying to sell, they were trying to sell the whole box of mugs for two dollars they had everything in in lots they were kind of like collections of things but i'm like i don't want this whole box of mugs so it was just two bucks for all that stuff i bought the dvds and the mugs all right so then um towards the end of the day i was actually i actually still found some some good stuff at the end of the day i was kind of shocked that they were still there especially these with halloween coming up these are the wake wakers box I'm probably butchering that. I never know how to say it, but I do know how to spell it now. For a while, I would have to look at it and type it out. Now it's like, it's in my it's in my brain. So anyway, um, these are cool. I'm checking to see if they're all different. So, so far they are. The witch, the cat. These will sell decently. I have six of them. Okay, this is another witch. I'm not sure if I'm going to, another cat. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these in lots. Or if I'm going to sell them all together. I don't know how I'm going to... This one is like the coolest. Check that one out. Now you guys might be familiar. And the ghost. Oh, I love these. I love these. Um, so this brand, if you sell like hard goods or dinnerware or whatever, they're like super... Everyone's pretty much familiar with the Christmas tree pattern. It's red with the Christmas tree. I mean, that, that stuff is, like, all over the place. But there are pieces that still do bring money. But there are some, like, rare mugs. Like, I think these are a little more unusual than than some. But, yeah, these are just so cool. And I'm so glad that they were still there. And I paid, I think I paid $5 for all of these, maybe? No, 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 no. No, she wanted two apiece. And I ended up paying 10 for all of them. So, yeah, this was just yesterday, and I can't remember. All right, I can't get them all back in here, and I do not want to scratch these because these are, like, the, the type of pottery. It, it'll chip very easily. But, okay, so let me put these somewhere so I'm not talking about them forever, but those are so cool. They're so cool. I don't think I've ever found – I found some weird ones, Christmas ones that were kind of rare, not the Christmas tree, but I, I don't think I've ever found the Halloween. So anyway, uh, this right here is Jim Shore. This was five bucks. Um, Blossoms of Spring, I believe it's called. This should bring about $30. So that was pretty cool. Maybe even 35. And then one house that I went to, actually the first house I went to, I picked up these Williams Sonoma. These are older. I believe. Made in Italy for William Sonoma. Rooster plates. Not sure how they're gonna do, but we'll check it out. I paid 10 for the stack. I was just, just wanted to buy something, you know? Like I just wanted to get into the groove. All right, so then I went to one house also at the very end of the day. I mean, listen, I even stopped at this point and grabbed lunch <laughs> that I was eating as I was driving around. But I'm like, let me just, let me keep going. Let me finish this. It's, you know, it was, it was later in the day. Some of the houses had already packed up. Like they were done already. They were like no signs of a yard sale, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just keep following this map, finish out, go to every location, see if they're open. And you know, it worked out for me. So zero grand, Cole Hahn. she wanted five for these, but I ended up getting all of the shoes for $20, but at the very end of the day, I can't, I can't believe these were still there. And Ferragamos, men's Ferragamos, two pair. I'm talking like 
gently used. Gently used. Look at these. I paid $20 for all three pairs. And then I got the the black ones here. These, these might have been used a little bit more, but still gently used. I should be able to get at least 75 bucks for these. Um, so yeah, $20 for two Ferragamos and some zero grand slides. What? That's crazy. Like, how is that stuff still there? I don't know. You just never know. You just really never, ever know. So at the same house, she wanted a dollar for the clothing. So I'm like, why not? Men's jeans are so easy. I love selling men's jeans. Like I prefer it over, over women's, honestly. Um, but anyway, I got this lucky brand pair, 4032, $1, $1. Another lucky brand pair of men's jeans. These are just a black pair. And then these are 1822 denim Adriana. These I'm keeping, um, I have a little mark on them, but I'm going to throw these in the, I'm going to take them home and throw them in the wash. But I love this brand. Um, and I have a pair just like these and I love them. So those I'm keeping. One dollar. Can't beat that. So yeah, this was, it, this town was a lot of fun. It was, um, my first time there. All right. So then I went to another stop. I, I believe I paid $37 for everything. Uh, I got some Kate Spade Garden Rose napkins. I got a 70 inch round tablecloth. <coughs> Excuse me. This'll, this'll probably bring around 25, 30, maybe 20 for the napkins. Oh, where am I gonna put this stuff? And then I also got this this is one of those free gifts um it's a duffel bag but i love it's like ralph lauren big pony uh duffel bag i absolutely love the colors on this so sweet so i haven't checked comps or anything i sold one of the ralph lauren free gift bags um it was more like a luggage type bag i sold one of those for i believe like 40 dollars a couple months ago uh, but that was just like a navy blue it wasn't like i don't know it wasn't anything special i did not pay 10 for this that's how much he initially wanted like i said 37 for everything to kind of bundle some stuff together but yeah this is super cool um I'm digging that. I also got this Cabbage Patch Girl. And uh, who knew? Who knew their hair was like that? Look at this. Isn't that weird? And then it just, I think maybe it was like once tied back so you couldn't see that. I, I don't know. I never knew the Cabbage Patch's hair was like that. So anyway... Um, this girl, I'm not sure how much she's going to go for, but I will say she's pretty clean. Um, she's got that red hair people like, but I couldn't pass her up because the outfit alone, I've sold this, actually not even the shirt, just the overalls I sold by themselves for $25 a couple months ago. So her outfit alone is worth it. Uh, then also there, I got this little German Steinbach Christmas decoration. It's a little, a little baby. <laughs> Is that how it's supposed to hang? <laughs> Is this kind of like a flying baby? Flying baby. <laughs> Look at this thing though it's cute but Steinbach is it's a good it's a good name you know so we'll see I have no idea what I'm gonna get for this but yeah it's a flying baby girl 
All right, and then this, I also don't know. This was $75 initially though. This is Ralph Lauren, uh, a watch band wine chiller. So I guess it's like a watch band design, but I thought it looked, I thought it looked really nice. So yeah, 20, wait, what? Oh wait, <laughs> 75. That's what it was, not 25, it was 75 initially. So I don't know what I'm gonna get for this. I don't know, we'll see. All right, also in that bundle, these adorable Pottery Barn salt and pepper shakers, little tree branches with the bird and little bird house. How cute, how cute. And lastly, I believe the last thing I purchased there, is this teapot. I don't know if there's anything below it, like maybe glasses or something, but this is, and I did not pay 10 for this either, but this is a uh, Nordstrom made in Italy. So I don't know, it's just, I thought it was really cute. It's like that Deruta pottery, but this is like, you know, for Nordstrom and it's not marked Deruta, but let me see if there's anything else in this box. It feels pretty light, so I don't think that there is. It's even in the, like the original Nordstrom box, but it's got Donna written on it. So we'll see. We'll see how that does. I like picking up pottery pieces. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, I did bring more stuff over here. All right, so then also one of my later stops, I got these kids Contigo glasses um, or tumblers travel. I don't know, you know what, I'm, you can see what they are. Don't don't listen to me try to explain them. Um, so these I paid three, four, but I've sold these, I've sold the adult ones before. I think like maybe like 35 bucks. I think I might've had free shipping on it, but um it wasn't that much to ship. I might've even put them in a flat rate. So I got some vintage Tiffany & Co playing cards. Also did not look these up, no clue, but they are sealed. Both packs are sealed in this box, even though the box is a little bit dirty. I'll have to see if I can find comps and put that up on the screen for you guys. So this right here is a Waterford. It doesn't have the box or anything, but it is marked somewhere Yep, on the bottom. A Waterford Clover Shamrock. Very, very nice. Very nice piece of crystal. I would imagine I'd get at least 35 for that. And then I got, she also had, she had Tiffany & Co champagne flutes, um, but they were just so boring to me like there was nothing really they were just plain boring champagne flutes so I passed on those but I ended up getting oh I paid three on the the cards too she was really a big fan and three for the other thing she was a big fan of three that was like her price um okay so the Tiffany & Co which is nice it still has the box which is awesome this is just a a vase. It is Tiffany & Co. Made in Italy. It's got the little sticker and also the sandblasted or I don't know if it's sandblasted or or whatever. The, the hallmark is down there, the insignia, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, this is very, very pretty and I paid 15 for it. I think I should be able to get at least 75. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. I really did. At first I didn't think I was like doing really well in this town. And then I'm like, now I'm like looking through this stuff and I'm like, you know, I actually did very well in this town. So, um, I would definitely go back. All right. Let me switch this stuff out and get back to you. All right. So I just filmed for... <laughs> I don't know, six, seven minutes without the, without the camera even being on. <laughs> so yeah, 
Can you tell I haven't done this in a while? All right, well, I'm gonna do this all over again. Okay, so I went to this one house. <laughs> they had a lot of stuff that I love to buy and sell and I got it all for $15. So I was super stoked about that. Uh, I got these two Halloween plates, uh, certified international. And then I got this set of Pottery Barn. There's four of them. <laughs> My lips were getting ahead of me. I was trying to, I don't know. Just... All right. And these two. So I have to check comps on those. I did see there's a set listed for like $109, but I don't know if that's what they're selling for. I got this guy, Mr. Bones. He is Party Light. I don't usually pick up Party Light, but this guy was just so cool. Um, he should go for about $25. You put a little tea light in the back and it illuminates his, his face. This right here, Harry Potter wand. I actually noticed a, one little piece fell out in the bag. So I have to get that and put it in here. Uh, these do better if they are from Universal Studios. This one is from Barnes and Noble, but I should still be able to get $20, $25 for this. So that was cool. Then I got these four anthropology plates, like salad plates. They're all the same little anthro bird back there. These are not by like any special designer or anything, I don't believe. So I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll get $50 for them. Uh, then I got this. This was really cool. Some pumpkins here. This is Longer Burger Pottery, which I love. Look at this thing. This thing needs to be washed. It really, really needs a good cleaning. Looks like it was left in the garage with the box open. But otherwise, this thing is beautiful. Not sure how much this one's going to go for. I, I might guess around 50. Um, but yeah, I love finding long burger pottery. You guys that know me know that. Uh, and then lastly, I got two boxes of these. These are really cool. They are Fitz and Floyd. This pattern is called linen copper. I guess the copper has sort of a linen look to it. These are 20 ounce wine tumblers. So yes, two sets of four on these. And all of that was only $15. What? Like that was amazing. That lady, her pricing was phenomenal. I heard one of the other women pricing for some other lady. and <laughs> Her prices were like... They were crazy. So I'm so glad I got the woman that I did and she checked me out because what an awesome group of stuff for 15 bucks, right? So, all right, let's see here. I gotta move some of this. Okay, uh, one of my stops, I picked up this wine bag. This, I mean, this is like a, this is a big, this is a big bag. Like this is a whole, the swanky beverage tote. Wow, there's, I don't know. This is, um, it's got a little disposable beverage bag. It looks like there's like another layer to this. Like, so there's the top layer that doesn't go all the way. Okay, maybe, here, this is, maybe this is what happens. Maybe the bottle or the thing, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know, but listen. This thing is for somebody who really wants to drink and carry all of their accessories. So this is like dual purpose. This is not just a wine bag. Like you can actually put your wallet, you can put like, I mean, this is for the drunks on the go guys. <laughs> Let's, I mean, <laughs> come on, I'm not, I'm just making a joke. I like to get my drink on too. So uh, anyway, it's got ice bricks, the leak proof gel refrigerant. So you would freeze that bad boy up, fill your beverage bag, pop it on in down here, grab yourself a glass or <laughs> just hold it up like this. It's a good thing I'm not doing their infomercials, right? <laughs> no one would buy this bag. Um, anyhow, this is this is a cool bag. Five bucks. 
So yeah, I spent a lot of time talking about that bag. Okay. Um, then I picked these up at the end of the day. These are Wilkinson Sword by Fiskars. I know Fiskars uh, makes like a lot of like scissors and stuff for like the crafty people. Um, but I, you know, I looked these up and I think, they should, I think they should bring maybe like 50 bucks for this box. Um, it's, it's like a, a set of, why is that not attached in there? Like it should be. Um, I don't know. They all look new. They have the, um, built-in sharpener and I don't know how that goes in there but so it's a set she said they've never been used they have pennies taped to the top of them and I was like I'm like what is going on here I'm actually going to remove those now but I'm like oh, why are there pennies and she said it was like a good luck thing or whatever so I don't know I never heard about taping pennies to knives or anything like that did you guys ever hear about that uh, that's just one of those things I have never heard of, but the one was taped upside down. Isn't that like unlucky to begin with? I don't know. Like if I see a coin that's like not heads up, I won't pick it up. <laughs> it's like a weird superstition. Unless it's a quarter, I might pick it up because I don't, a quarter is a quarter, right? But like a penny or something like that, like I'll leave it if it's not heads up. <laughs> what a weirdo. And here I am judging these people who take pennies to knives, you know? Anyway, so there we go. This one keeps falling off the rack because it does have like this, this like base type thing to it. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should get 50 bucks for that. All right. This was another cool find. This is a Lennox um, cookie jar, Williamsburg, boxwood and pine. I think I should be able to get like $50 for this. It is new without the box. I'm not sure why they got rid of the box but you know it's got like all the plastic and stuff here but yeah that was that's pretty cool i paid three dollars for that i could not believe it and that was another one that was the end of the day very end of the day all right <clears throat> oh where, oh there it is okay i thought the top piece was missing so this is a wells fargo stagecoach cookie jar I paid $5 for this. I picked it up because I've sold one of these before. I think I sold it for like $39.99 plus shipping. So I figure why not? It's been several years since I sold mine, but I don't know. Sold before, it'll sell again, right? Okay, a couple more. All right, I got quite a bit of stuff. This video is, this video is gonna be a little long, I think. Um, I don't know where to put this stuff, to be honest. All right, real quick show you this guy. This is a Blue Sky Clayworks uh, Heather Goldmink. Little mouse with a pumpkin. This guy was $3, I believe. As was this. This is a Yankee Candle wax warmer. Not total hanging, but it's like on a stand. I'm looking because I think this had a little flaw, but I don't see it now. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Mm, no. No, we're good. We're good. So this is really cute. Gingerbread trains. Here we go. This is Tabletops Unlimited Silhouette Halloween. This is a really cool bowl. Not sure what it's going to go for, but I think I paid like three bucks for it. Um, so yeah. Right before the holiday, everyone is giving their stuff away. All right, then I got this Temptations Winter Whimsy, probably like a cookie tray. Three bucks on that one too. This is another Temptations piece, like a bunt cake pan with the lid. This I paid five for, but that's a really nice, really nice pattern that the collectors, who the collectors of that like, if I don't break it. All right, uh, I stopped at one one house. I wasn't gonna get anything. Then I took a look at their clothing rack on the way out and I saw this Free People sweater, which I thought was quite lovely. So, where is it? 
There we go, that's the top of it. So I wanted to find out how much it was. She said a dollar. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. So I got that for a dollar. This I paid up for. I think I ended up paying six for this. Uh, it's like a baby christening gown. It's got the layer. Um, it's got a couple spots. And to be honest, they don't. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> this one actually might be okay. This is Ralph Lauren, baby. Okay, this one actually might be okay. I, I'll have to look this brand up. It does have a couple small spots that can probably be soaked out. Not by me. I'm not doing that. But somebody can do it. Okay, so this one might actually be okay. Because I was looking up like just generic christening gowns. And the prices were not thrilling me. Okay, but. All right, so then they had all these vintage baby clothes. I don't really know anything about vintage baby clothes, but I figured it's a great way to get a cheap education. So yeah, I'll pick up things I don't know about and just see what happens, you know? Um, it's a lot of things I do know, but there's a lot of things I don't know. And you know, that's I'm sure the case with everybody, right? But anyhow, I don't even really find these like cute. Like I wouldn't wanna put these on my kid, you know, but. I don't know. This is Ruth of Carolina. Made in USA. So we'll see. I'm going to have to look up some of these brands. This is like... I don't even know. Does it have pants underneath it? Holy moly, it does. This one is... It's got a health text hanger, but... Trey J. <laughs> I really do. And this one is particularly hideous, if you ask me, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. This this one is Plum Pudding. It's got a cute name. <laughs> that's about that's about as far as the cuteness goes, I think, though. This, I, I mean, I just find this appalling. This dress is, this is, <laughs> this is hideous. But I hope someone loves it. I don't know. This is uh, Isabella. Man, I am glad I did not have to dress my kids like this. And finally, oh wait, I have two more. It's another pink, pink frilly thing by Brian. Just Brian. This one might be, this one might be the cutest out of all of them. And, okay, no, this is actually the cutest. This is for a little boy, Petit Amour by Baby Togs. Now this is quite adorable for a little boy. So yeah, I am gonna have to look these up, do a little bit of research. If you guys know anything about vintage kids clothes, drop it in the comments. Um, I don't know, but I'm like a dollar, why not, why not? All right, then this I picked up. This is Pat Patricia Nash, which I mean, this was probably like a $250 bag when it was sold. Um, she is known for this type of leather kind of bag, but this one has wear. It's got wear, but at $5, I think I should still be able to get 25 for it. So that is why I picked it up. These are paper chains. I thought these were pretty cool. Um, that's what it looks like. You just put it together. Remember making these in like kindergarten, <laughs> but they have like vintage, a vintage look to them. So we'll see. Oh, this is new too. 2021 Ebu Corporation, women owned. So someone got this and they were like, nope, not doing it. And they sold it right away, I guess. Okay, at my, one of my first stops, maybe my first stop, maybe my second. I think it was my second. I picked up, this is another thing I know nothing about. So these are leather tools. And I'm like, eh, 10 bucks. Let me give it a shot. We'll see what happens. This is taped shut with the with the thing. So there are 
a ton of different leather tools, most of which I have no clue what they're called. Oh, there's some leather in here. I thought I smelled leather. I'm like, what? This stuff is strong. Um, Craft Tool Co. Alphabet set. There's like all these, there's all these different sets in here and random tools. Uh, oh, that's why you can't shut it. That belongs, that belongs down there. And then in here, there's more. And then some other hoops, Mandela hoop. And there's some other kind of hoop, some other... Some other things so I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try to look up similar sized lots and just kind of lot this together and see how much I can get for it I'm sure it'll be over ten dollars Ooh. all right so now this is like a super cool score I got these Buffy the Vampire Slayer 12 inch figures by Sideshow Collectibles he wanted 20 a piece I ended up getting all four for fifty dollars so basically $12.50 a piece. This is the one that does the best. This one, this one sells like close to 200, I believe. Um, the box is a little dusty, but this guy's never been removed. And then this one sells for around 50, I believe. This guy. And Vampire Willow also sells for about 50. But these are these are all like never removed from box. The boxes are a little dusty though. And then this one sells for about 79. This is Faith. So yeah, that was pretty cool for 50 bucks. I was excited to find those. Alrighty. I do have a couple other things in the back. Uh, one of which is a big Calico Critters house with a bunch of figures, which is funny because I picked up a smaller set at the thrift store the other day. And then I found one this weekend, like a house and like a bunch of critters and accessories and stuff like that. So I paid 25 for all of it. So that should do well. There is one cleaning set that's, um, like new in the box, new and open box. That set alone, I think should go for at least 30. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this here because although I did leave a couple things back there, this was like the majority of the haul in this video is getting super long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.